and welcome back to Ace of Vegas, Spinners and Sharks. Ace here, and I hope you're all doing well. So before I decided to get ahead and check out what the best way to book a hotel is, but something else struck me. Turns out hotels aren't very good if you have no way to get there. So for today's video, I wanted to do an experiment to see what's the best way to book yourself a Vegas flight. Let's go ahead and get started. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. All right, guys, so it looks like we got about three different versions on the docket here. So we're going to take a look at a discount site. We're also going to take a look at the cheapest carrier directly. And then what we're going to do is we're also going to take a trip over to the airport. Now that I live close to the airport, this is going to be a much more feasible idea for me. And if it works out, I think I'll have a good time. And if not, well, I didn't waste too much gas trying to get there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Spinners and Sharks, part one of the experiment over here. So we've selected our days. Looks like we're going to be going Monday the 18th through Wednesday the 20th because that is uh, Thanksgiving week. And, you know, I want to make sure that I'm home for the uh, for the spouse and the and the little one, too. So got to make sure we're home for that. Let's go ahead and check to see what days and what kind of deal we're getting uh, these days. And I am totally down for the cheapest over here because I live in Denver, as you guys know. So I don't really mind doing a, a lousy flight, even if it's something like Spirit or whatever. Spirit of Frontier are usually kind of my go-to airlines there. And it looks like Spirit might be our go-to here. I don't see a single Frontier airline. Oh, we do have some Frontiers. We have some Frontier ones. Now that everything's fully loaded. Okay, now let's go ahead and pick our favorite flight. Uh, I'm willing to be up early. I can be at the airport uh, by 8.30. That's fine. I can live with that. I can't be back by <laughs> 1.45 in the morning. So let's go ahead and see. This looks pretty reasonable. Let's do the... Uh, or Actually, here, this is even more reasonable. I like this. I like this. We can do this one. Okay. How about we do a 10.30 departure and then... When we go back home, we'll do a 9.30. So that means I only have to be at the airport at 7.30, meaning I just have to be up uh, by 6.30. I think I can do that. Okay, so let's view this deal. So it looks like it takes me directly to the Frontier Airlines site here. Looks like we're logged in. So it's about $82. So 41 each way. Oh, can we can customize this further. Would it be worth doing a 9? Oh, wait, yeah, here's the... Uh, 9.30 flight. Okay, we'll continue. I don't have a membership this year with Frontier, so... Okay, guys, we keyed in all of our info over here. Let's go ahead and see how the rest of this goes. Uh, we won't bundle with anything because this is a really quick flight. I'm probably not even going to remember most of it. I'm going to be flying solo, so I don't particularly care where I sit. And we'll just do a, actually I won't even check a bag, I'll just go ahead and carry everything in my laptop bag. That'll be fine. Uh, we won't do any trip insurance. Okay. Okay, guys, so it looks like the listing for the flight was about $98 on the internet with a discount site. Booking directly, it looks like I'll be able to get away with uh, $89.60 for total payment right now, give or take fees. Uh, no, actually, that includes all of our taxes and fees. A carrier interface charge of $42, though, that is rough. So security fee, I get it. I didn't know about uh, these extra charges, though. Passenger facility charge, that makes sense. I believe that. Uh, domestic flight, yeah, that's a tax. You can't do anything about that. But what about this carrier interface charge? 
I wonder if this would actually be any cheaper at the airport. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and pause here, and we are actually going to take a swing by DIA and see if it gets any cheaper. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and hit the road right now, heading to Denver International Airport to see if these uh, tickets are any cheaper in person and see if we can do something about that. $42 fee. That is so weird. What is that interface fee? We need to figure that out, but for now, let's go ahead and get things worked out. Let's rev it up! Okay, guys, we made it to the airport. Uh, give me just a couple seconds to get inside, and we're going to go ahead and see what the actual prices are at the ticket counter. <sighs> it was a long walk to the terminal. Going for it. Buying the ticket. All right, guys, I just came back from the airport, and lo and behold, just looking at the receipt over here, my total payment came out to be... $47.60. That is obtusely insane. And that's for going straight to the airport, purchasing the ticket, and then going home from there. If you include the uh, the price of parking, let's just go ahead and include that. It's like five bucks an hour over here. It's $52.60, which is still darn well near half of what it would have cost me to book directly with the carrier. All right, guys, and there you have it. Our discount site quoted us $98 to get a flight from Denver to Vegas and back on the dates of November 18th through the 20th. When we tried to book directly through Frontier, they offered us the same flight for $89.60, and no, that's not with any discounts from the Discount Den or any special memberships. That's just straight up off the site. Ultimately, when we traveled to the airport and purchased it directly, pen and pad, cash in hand, it turned out to be $47.60. So it's very clear and apparent which one of those is the best deal. If you can, you definitely want to make sure that you get to the airport. And I'm going to tell you why now. So I'm not sure if you guys remember, but a little while back I did a Vegas fee video. I'll put a link to that in the description box below. But there is a certain fee associated with airlines too. It's called a CIC fee or a customer interaction concession which is basically a fee charging you guys to use the internet in general just to book your tickets. So if you can at all avoid it, avoid using the internet and don't call in, just go to your local airport and pick up your tickets there. It saved me a good $45, and it looks like you can too. All right, Spinners and Sharks, that's all I've got for today's video. Feel free to go ahead and click that like button if you found it informative, and subscribe if you'd like to hear from me again. But until next time, my spinners and sharks, this is Ace of Vegas signing off, wishing you strong hands and happy spinning, you guys.